the liar. Mommy the liar. You don't love me. You just trying to trick me. Trying to get me to trust you. Oh no. And give myself up to Sam Bennett. Are you crazy? No, no. No more words from you. Lying, nasty, slavery words. For what? To give myself up so that they can lock me up in the nut house to the booby hatch. Huh? Or even worse, that they can lock me up in prison and kill me. No. You're just trying to get rid of me like you tried to get rid of me when I was a baby. No. And now I'm going to get rid of you, mother. I'm going to kill you. Kill you like I killed all the others. Officer, I know I have resigned from the force, but I have to be involved in this investigation. I have a vested interest in finding this blackmailer slash rapist slash murderer. I was one of its first victims. Well, check with Chief Bennett. He deputized me at the hospital. Now, I don't know if that's still in effect, but he will tell you that it's okay for me to be informed about the search. Just talk to the man. That was like you hit a wall. No one's been able to track down that sick blackmailer. No, I've been searching like crazy. Well, it appears and disappears in the blink of an eye. I mean, we've come so close to catching it, and then, like that, it's gone. It's always one step ahead of us. And I'm trying to search on my own, but it would help if I knew what the police already covered. I have to find this criminal. Until I do, there's no hope Luis will be set free. Yeah, it's been blackmailing Teresa with some secret she's keeping. But I'm gonna put a stop to it. I'll do anything to hold on to Tess. You sound like you're afraid of losing her. I am, but I'm not going to let that happen. I love Tess with all my heart. But if anyone ever tried to take her from me, I'd kill him. Ethan, it's, it's really time you knew the truth about your precious Teresa. Mm -hmm. She has been playing you for a fool. Thank you, but I can handle this. I wish someone would handle it. What are you two talking about? Look, our marriage is over, and I've accepted that. Well, I haven't. Please. I'm anxious to finalize our divorce and move on with my life, and you need to know that. So when I tell you what Teresa's been keeping from you, you know and you're sure that I have no ulterior motive. Well, for someone with no ulterior motive, you certainly are pulling out the knives, Gwen. Well, do you blame me? I mean, seriously, after everything Teresa's are, done to Are me, we going to rehash all this? Is that what we're going to do? No, we're not. Look, I care about you, OK? And uh, if you're so hell-bent on marrying Teresa, you really should know the kind of snake she is. Yeah. Do you think this is Ethan, helping you? I mean, it's not. You just need to listen to me. You need to know what Teresa has been keeping from you before this so-called relationship you have with her goes any farther. Once you find out her secret, you are finally going to agree with me that someone should have fed her rat poison a long, long time ago. Drink up, Teresa, chamomile, the rat poison tea. It's a flavor of the day. Why? That's right, Teresa. Ooh, I've been a bad boy. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, filling Sheridan with anger all the way back to 1965 and fueling her rage enough to kill Teresa, appearing tonight and for the rest of eternity only, the Demonettes. Really, it's an absolute crime that this place stays open. I wonder if the other customers know that the book cafe has a rat problem. Hmm. I bet you these raisins in the raisin scones aren't really raisins. I, uh, I hope your tea isn't cold. No, it's good. I, I'll pay you back. Oh, no, please, please. It's my treat. It's not your treat. It's my treat. 
And Sheridan, you're not going to remember that you put the rat poison in the tea, just like Gwen doesn't remember that you tried to choke Teresa with a rope. Because what happens, the demons go in your head, they make you do things, and when they come out, the mortals, they have no remembrance, they don't recall, they have no recollection. And, unlike Gwen's attempt to kill Teresa with a rope, this is going to work. <clears throat> you all right? Ah, the throat feels a little funny. I hope you're not coming down with a summer cold. Yeah. I hope not. No. Drink some more tea. I'm sure it'll make your throat feel better. That's right, Teresa. Drink up. Ooh. There's a warm feeling of satisfaction I get when you do something for the public good. Look at me. I'm taking steps to control Harmony's vermin. If anyone ever tried to come between Teresa and I, I would kill him. Well, uh, that sounds a little harsh, don't you think? I mean, if I were still in uniform, I'd include that on my daily report. Maybe I wouldn't kill him. It's just we were just married, you know? I need some time with my wife. We need to be together right now. There's just so much going on. Tell me about it. Look, I know you're Ethan's half-sister, so you're probably on his side, but everybody needs to see him for the sneak he really is. What, sneak? Yes, sneak and, and cheat. I'm, the guy, he took my wife away from me from the hospital. He convinced her to go with him two seconds after we were married. Then I walked in on him asking her to marry him. So how does Teresa feel about Ethan? She married me. And that's what, that's what I don't get. I knew I was in competition with Ethan the moment I came to Harmony. But when Gwen finally left, Teresa had to make a clear choice and she didn't jump into Ethan's arms. She married me, she loves me, but Ethan won't leave her alone. And between him and the blackmailer, Teresa's at her wit's end. I've just gotta, I gotta find this blackmailer and put a stop to it. And then I'll, I'll work on Ethan. Well, I wanna find the blackmailer too. I, mean, I have to, I can't lose Luis. Oh, well, I can't lose Tess. Why don't we, why don't we try to find him together, you know? Maybe we'll have better luck as a team. Yeah, okay, right. then let's do it. <laughs> why don't you just spit it out? It's no secret that you don't like Teresa, Gwen. You don't like her? Ethan, I despise her. And to be honest, I didn't even know the meaning of the word hate until Teresa destroyed my life. You have never even tried to understand Teresa. Oh, my God. You're such a fool. Do you know how absurd that is? Yes, Teresa is a lying, cheating, manipulative... Damn, I wish I had a thesaurus. Enough. You know what? I don't, I don't want to stand here and argue about what Teresa is and what Teresa isn't, okay? The only reason I'm here is to make sure that you can promise me that you're not going to hurt Teresa out of some idiotic act of revenge, Gwen, okay? But... In the manner in which you're speaking, it's probably a moot point, but I can tell you this. There's nothing you can say. There's nothing you can do that's going to make me change the way I feel about Teresa, okay? <laughs> oh, I wish I had that on tape. I want to be able to go to Teresa and tell her that she doesn't have anything to worry about. But maybe, maybe I'm just fooling myself, thinking that you could actually have been mature enough to let go of this tit-for-tat thing that you and Teresa have been doing for years now. She's concerned, Gwen. That's yeah, all. She's and she should be. She should be concerned because she's terrified you're going to find out what she's been keeping from you. She, you know what? She's got bigger problems on her plate, Gwen, like saving her own life. Did you know someone tried to kill her tonight? Yeah, someone down on the wharf tried to strangle her with a rope. Heather, I haven't even recently seen Teresa. I, are you so sure? I mean, look at your hands. These, these are rope marks. What? Wait, I'm, I'm so confused. I mean, these are the same rope burns that were on Teresa's neck. <laughs> Honey, you don't have to cover up for me, please. I am all for you causing whatever harm you can to that husband-stealing Chalupa. Mother, I'm not trying to cover anything up. I do not remember doing anything to Teresa.
I don't understand. What did I do? How did I get these rope burns on my hands? Gwen, what is wrong with you? I should sort that kind of came on fast. <laughs> Was the tea helping? Not really. It's, it's like actually not like a typical sore throat. It's, um, I don't know, it feels kind of numb. I hope it's not worse than a cold. I mean, I, I gotta be honest, I really wouldn't be surprised if you were coming down with something, all the stress you've been under. Right. Well, my mom always says, you know, a good cup of tea is the best thing for a sore throat. So. Yeah, that's, that's true. Not that tea, sweetie, unless your mama hates you. Look, Teresa, earlier I, I didn't, said, I didn't, I didn't mean to upset you. I, I really didn't. Oh, no, 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 you, you didn't upset me. Um, we, you were, like, teensy bit irritated, maybe? Sheridan doesn't remember, stupid. Just like when Gwen and she had to run around. <laughs> She's trying to joke. <laughs> no, no, I, I wasn't irritated. I mean, maybe I don't agree with you, but no, I, I wasn't upset. But look, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not going to let go of Luis. When we get him out of prison, I do plan on spending the rest of my life with him. Is that what he wants? He will. No, he, he will. You know, right now he's just having a silly little fling with Fancy, but I'm an adult. It hasn't changed the way I feel about him, and I know he still loves me. Well, you know, from an outsider's perspective, it just doesn't seem that way. Well, you know, he is a man, and we both know that they truly are the weaker sex, so it's, it's really no wonder that Luis is confused. If you say so. Well, it's true, you know, and... I mean, look at what happened to Luis when he found out that I was truly unavailable. He fell into a deep despair and he went after the closest substitute, my niece, Fancy. But now that that's all over, why have... saccharin <laughs> when you can have real sugar? <laughs> <coughs> because sugar's bad for you? You know, I don't know why I have to explain myself to you. You of all people should know how much I love Luis. It's the same way that you love Ethan. Um, maybe, I just, I think you should just let Luis make his choice. And if he wants to be with Fancy, sure, let him be with Fancy. Just, you don't, I don't get I don't it. Wanna, I, don't, I don't want us to fight, okay? It's like you said before, we should just agree to disagree <sighs> on this. Oh my God, he's about to be executed. You know, and if we don't catch that monster, you're both gonna lose Luis, and I'm gonna lose my brother. You're right. You're, you're right. Poor Pilari. I can't imagine the thought of her losing another son. I just don't know. You know, if we don't stop it, he's gonna die for crimes that he didn't even commit. What if we don't catch the blackmailer? I don't know. There's just gotta be something that we can do. There isn't. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that anyone wouldn't do to save Louise. In exchange for me doing what's necessary to clear Louise's name, i.e. bringing pretty Crane back to town to expose her sister Fancy for the lying slut she is, in short, poisoning Louise's mind against Fancy forever, all you have to do is kill Teresa. Now how simple is that? Maybe you're right. What? Well, maybe there is something we wouldn't do to help Louise. <clears throat> Look at you, scared to pieces. You're like all the rest. You don't want me. You didn't want me when I was a baby, and you're trying to get rid of me like I'm a piece of trash, like I'm garbage. I'm not. I can fight back. <clears throat> <clears throat>
what? I made it up for you. I did it. No, who are you? You kept them all these years. I never forgot about. I never forgot about you. I'm so sorry, mother. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to hurt you. They're, they're beautiful. Give them to you when you were in the hospital. I'm sorry, Mother. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, pardon me, God. It's Julian. It's, uh, Julian Crane. I know we haven't spoken in quite some time, except when I've used your name in vain, but uh, that's because I assumed that you were a fairy tale and I gave up on you, but somehow, or rather lately, I've come to realize that well, you've stuck with me through everything, because I'm about to meet my son, the son I had with Eve, the son that father stole from us. Speaking of father, I hope you've given him appropriate accommodations in the afterlife and feel free to turn the heat up. But anyway, I... I just wanted you to know that even though I've made so many mistakes with my other children in the past, that I'm going to work so hard to build a strong relationship with this son. I mean, blood will out. And I... I want you to know how grateful I am you've given me another chance to be a good father and I promise you I will not mess this this chance up so anyway thank you because I know the gift of this son is well is a gift from heaven I'm, I'm sorry mommy I, I didn't mean to hurt you I don't understand you you hurt people who were trying to help you. I reached out for you and you almost killed me. I'm sorry. I, I just thought that you were trying to trick me to get me to turn myself in. It is a mother's primary responsibility to teach her children the difference between right and wrong. You are my child. I'm trying to get you to do the right thing. But I do. No. I, I, I do. No. You don't. You hurt people. You kill people. There's a man on death row about to be executed right now for your crimes. But it wasn't my fault. No. That is what a child would say. You are not a child. I know you hurt. I don't know exactly what happened during all those missing years. But surely, somewhere in your heart, there is still the capacity to love other people. Yes, I, I can love, yes. Well, then you can't do all these terrible things, can you? Look, if you turn yourself in, then we can get you some help. We can take you to a, a special place where they can teach you how to just accept your past and to Look forward to your future. Insane asylums. No, we don't call them that anymore. But that's what they are. No. They are places of safety. Where you won't hurt yourself or anyone else. No. Not yet. I still have more to finish. Oh, no. You have done enough. You have done more than enough. You think so? <laughs> Not by a long shot. I killed Ray. At least Simone knows what it's like to suffer. 
and I want all of Julian's children to suffer as well. Fancy, Fox, all of them have always gotten whatever they wanted in their life. Except poor Ethan. Ethan? Oh, yes, Mommy. Ethan's the only one who understands my pain. The pain of rejection. When dear old dad found out that Ethan wasn't his son, he tossed him out into the cold. That's why I love Ethan. He understands me. We're simpatico. We, we can help heal each other. My sweet, sweet love for Ethan can, can help erase all of his pain. You... You're in love with Ethan? Oh, yes, Mommy. Yes, yes. We're gonna be together forever and ever. We were made for each other. <laughs> I love him to death. I have such plans for my life with Ethan. Oh, I'm gonna love him so much. And we're already ahead of the game. Yes, I, I read in those magazines that it's best if you and your partner have a lot in common. Well, look at us. We both were rejected by Julian. I can't believe you're truly in love with Ethan. Why not? He's dreamy. And what's so hard to believe about true love, Mother? I just thought... Thought what? That I wouldn't love a man? Oh, no, it's just... What difference does it make? Love is love. But sweetheart... Sweetheart, but sweetheart. <laughs> oh, you. You kill me with that, sweetheart, sweetheart. You don't think Ethan will love me. Huh, because I'm too much of a freak? I didn't say anything like that. It's just, Ethan is already in love with Teresa. Oh, oh, don't mention that name. Okay, you're frightening me. I'm sorry, Mommy. I, it's just, I, I'm just trying to explain it. I'm, I, I can love Ethan better than her. Ethan thinks he loves her. But I won't hurt him like, like she does. Ethan will love me. He will. You, you don't believe me. You, you don't think Ethan will love me. I didn't say that. You don't have to. I see it in your face. That, that, that look, that, that look of disgust. You just get hold of yourself now because you are overreacting. Why, Mommy? Why are you so mean to me? Why do you hurt me? I'm reacting because my life is a full, constant pain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's all you ever say. How much more pain must I endure? Let me help. Don't touch me. Don't you ever dare touch me. Don't lock yourself in the bathroom, please! No way! Oh my God, he's completely unstable. What am I gonna do? Gwen, what is wrong? You you completely faded out for a minute. Yeah, uh, honey, why don't I get you a drink? I don't need a drink. You just uh just throw me for a second. Can't believe that someone would actually want to kill Teresa. Well, I, I, I can believe it. <laughs> I'm really just more surprised that it's taken this long. I mean, you have tried several times yourself, Gwen. I mean, there was the baseball bat, the scalpel. Someone besides me. Do you know who tried to kill her? No. No, unfortunately, whoever it was disappeared before I could see them. 
So Teresa doesn't know either. Oh, gosh. What a shame. <clears throat> well, I assume it's the damn blackmailer. But the point is, Teresa's been through enough, and I want your word that you are not going to try to come between Teresa and me. Do I have your word, Gwen? <laughs> I can't believe you. I can see by the look in your eye. You're not going to let this go, are you? No, I will. I will leave Teresa alone. I will. Really? Really? Mm hmm When our divorce is final, I'm going to leave Harmony for good. But I think... But, but, that... but... <laughs> How did I know there was going to be a button there? But there is something I need to tell you that's for your own good. You don't really mean that. I mean, I don't think there's anything anyone wouldn't do to save Louise. Right? Right, right, of course. <clears throat> Not to worry, Sheridan. Honey, sweetie, sugar lips. You've already done what you need to do to help Louise. Now drink some more tea, Teresa. Well, the cry fell. Hi. Hi. Hey. Aunt Sheridan. Hello, Fancy. Uh, Fancy and I decided to team up, try and find that monster together. Really? Yeah, we already turned the waterfront upside down, so... Well, once we find the blackmailer, we can put an end to this nightmare once and for all. And me and you can move on with our lives together. Um... Jared, there's something that I, I need to talk to you about. Yeah. I'm gonna grab some coffee quick, but, um... I'll be right back. Do you want anything? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I got my teeth. <coughs> Teresa, are you all right? <coughs> Ooh, the poison's starting to kick in. I wonder if anybody's asked her if she'll like a burial or a cremation. Hi, Teresa. Would you like a burial or a cremation? <coughs> What I have to say to you is not easy. If you're gonna just go in on Teresa again, forget about it. Would you just let me finish? I know that, you know, you're telling me Teresa's going through a really hard time right now. But I remember when you were going through a rough time. When you found out that Julian wasn't really your father. And you know why bring that all up? <clears throat> yeah. Teresa still believes that you two were the ones that sent my true paternity to the tabloids, remember? We all know that Teresa is responsible for that fiasco. You just said you don't want to bring up the past, so I'm not going to. What I want to talk about is you. I remember how hurt you were, how really hurt you were when you found out you were in Ukraine. Do you remember? I mean, do you remember how absolutely awful it was when you realized how much time you missed with your real father growing up? Yes. Yes, I was devastated. I still think about it, Gwen. And... I can imagine it would be completely unforgivable if someone ever did something like that to you again, to, to keep something so huge from you. Mm, it's not like about fathers and, and, and sons. Mother, please. Well, I'm just trying to help. Enough. What, what are you getting at, huh? Yeah, Gwen. Do tell. If you want the truth, you're going to get it. Teresa, uh, that doesn't sound like a cold. Is something stuck in your throat? <coughs> no. I'm fine. I didn't really eat anything, okay? <coughs> Teresa, that sounds bad. <coughs> no, no, no. I'm okay, really. No, maybe I, have... I should take you home. Yeah, or call the doctor. <coughs> I don't need a doctor. I'm okay, see? I'm okay. No, hey, have some more tea. <coughs> <coughs> mm -mm. God. Oh, God, I keep getting sick. I really need to talk to Jared. You know, I gotta tell him. I mean, Ethan went to go see Gwen to tell him that we want to be together, and I need, I need to tell Jared this. Teresa, <clears throat> he's gonna be so hurt. I know, I know, but it's better that he knows the truth now than later, right? <clears throat> yeah, you know, it's, it's always so painful when a third person butts into a meaningful relationship. Oh, here we go. No, I mean it. <clears throat> you all right? Yeah, sorry. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Look at it, I am. I need to talk to you about something. All right. It's really important, okay? <laughs> you want to move to our own table? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! What? Help her! Oh my god. Help her! Oh my god. Help her. <laughs> <laughs> 
free. Ted? <laughs> Say adios, Teristas. Nothing's gonna save you now. Please. Please come out into the living room so we can talk. No! Get away from the door. You don't love me. Oh. Oh, yes, but I do. I do love you. If you did, you'd want me by your side. Not send me away to the crazy house or prison. Please. Go away! Oh, God, what am I going to do? Interesting news. I'm here with our son right now. I can't wait to meet him. Where are you? We're at Valerie's house, but. Well, I, I'm not far away. So Valerie came through for us. Uh, Julian. I'll be right there. Uh, Julian, wait, there's something you need to know. Julian. Ugh, hell. I wanted to warn you, but. Maybe it's just better if you find out for yourself. I can't wait to meet my son. Fantastic. Just breathe. Come on. Oh, no. Well, call an ambulance. Come on, do something! Tess, breathe. Come on, Tess. Come on, wake up. You're wasting your time, Jarhead. The rat poison is foolproof. And it comes with a money-back guarantee. Breathe. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, honey. Hey. Tess. Teresa, come on. Stay tuned for more passions. And for all the scoop on your favorite stars, check out the Daily Blabber only at iVillage.com. Where is he? I can't wait to meet him. I can't wait to find out what kind of a man he's become. Why, well, you hit the nail on the head, Julian. After all these years, I, I am so committed now to building a strong relationship with this young man. I've been such a flop with all my other children. Okay, Julian, then. I know that we must have so much in common. I wouldn't count on that. Oh, well, that's all right. What does that matter if we're not exactly alike? Julian. What did you do? Enough talk. Where is he? He's in the bathroom. I'll go get him. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, God. The law was right. For all these years, prayer does work. This isn't easy for me. Will I don't you, will enjoy you please, seeing please you Please, please just get on with it, Gwen. Do not get snippy with my daughter. All right? She is still your wife. Sorry. I don't know. Maybe you want to sit down. This is pretty. Gwen, big Gwen, news. Gwen. I don't need to sit down. I really just need for you to spit it out. Now, please tell me what the hell is going on. Okay. Ah, oh, at last. After all these years, Teresa is going to get hers. Ethan, there's a little boy out there. Hold on. Might be Luis. Look, he's not going anywhere. Let him wait. Hello? 
Ethan, okay, get down to the book cafe. Teresa is dying. Wait, wait, Fancy, hold up. That was Fancy. She hung up. Yeah, I gathered that. All right, listen, whatever you were going to tell me has to wait. I got to get down to the book cafe. Fancy says Teresa is dying. For God's sake. Wow, that's good news. The hell it is. She's not getting off that easy. I want my revenge. Oh. Wait. I want to watch. I have that strange memory. I couldn't have done this. But you did, Sheridan. With a little help from my demons of hell. You've been a bad, bad girl. Okay, how is she? I called the paramedics and Ethan. He's on his way. Why would you call Ethan? Don't stop breathing for her. Okay, Teresa, just hang on, okay? Hang on. Too little, too late, people. You've lost her. <laughs> Come on, Teresa, breathe. Jess. Teresa. Come on. Breathe. Sean, I'm coming in there. No. You ready to get married? Very ready. <laughs> Teresa, do you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! 